In this session, we will see how to consume or read the data from a stream. Amazon Kinesis application is a data consumer that reads and processes data from a stream. We can build this consumer application using either Kinesis API or Kinesis Client Library. Kinesis Client Library or KCL is a pre-built library that provides functionality for consumer applications to read and process streams. It supports Java, Python, Ruby, Node.js and .NET languages. In addition, KCL handles complex issues such as adapting to changes in the stream volume, load balancing streaming data and coordinating distributed services and processing data with full fault tolerance. If you are building an application with such features, it may take months or year. In addition to KCL, Amazon Kinesis also provides connector library which is a pre-built library that helps you to easily integrate Amazon Streams with other AWS services and third-party tools. Mainly it provides connectors to Amazon DynamoDB, Redshift, S3 and Elasticsearch. The library also includes sample connectors for each type plus Apache and build files for running the samples. Kinesis Storm Spout is a pre-built library that helps you to easily integrate Kinesis Stream with Apache Storm. In the next lab session, we will be using Kinesis Client Library to consume the data. In this lab session, we will see how to install and configure Kinesis Client Library to consume data from a Kinesis stream. In the previous labs, we worked with producers of data using Kinesis Producer Library and Kinesis Agent. But now, we are going to use the Kinesis Client Library or KCL that helps us to consume and process data from a Kinesis stream. This type of application is also referred as a consumer. Let's install the Kinesis client library in one of the EC2 instance where we want to run our consumer application. I already have EC2 instance from the last session running with IAM role that allows EC2 to read data from Kinesis stream. Let us quickly check the EC2 instance and associated role. If I click on the role, we can see that it is a service role with Kinesis full access. If you are not familiar with the above configuration, please watch the video from the first lab where I configured the IAM role and as well as the EC2 instance. However, KCL requires the access to DynamoDB table to track the KCL application state and CloudWatch to publish common metrics from the application. So let's attach Amazon DynamoDB full access and CloudWatch full access policy documents with this role. Now, the EC2 instance assume this role will have access to Kinesis Streams, DynamoDB and CloudWatch services. Let me copy the public IP address of the EC2 instance. Let's log into EC2 instance using SSH client. The KCL is a Java library. Support for languages other than Java is provided using a multi-language interface called multi-language daemon. This daemon is Java based and runs in the background when you are using a KCL language other than Java. Therefore, make sure to install JDK 
1.8 or greater. Sometimes the version of Java that ships with Amazon Linux is 1.7. You have to upgrade to 1.8. Let me run Java version to cross check. Java iPhone version. Great, we got Java 1.8 in this box. You can develop a consumer application using various programming languages including Java, Node.js, Python, Ruby and .NET. In this lab, we will be using KCL for Node.js and consumer app entirely developed in Node.js. To begin with, Let's install Node.js and npm sudo m install Node.js space npm enable repo equal to epl. It is done, clear the screen. Now, let's install git. sudo yum install git. We already installed git in the last session, I guess. Let's move on. The Amazon KCL for Node.js repository contains source code for the KCL, a sample data producer and data consumer application and the bootstrap script. So let's clone that from the repository. git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash AWS labs slash Amazon iPhone Kinesis iPhone client iPhone node JS dot git space KCL node JS. Yellows. We got the source code under KCL node JS folder. Let's check the consumer Node.js code. cd to kcl node.js slash samples slash basic sample slash consumer. Yellows. Here is a sample.properties file. Let's look at sample.properties. This file controls which Amazon KCL for Node.js application is run. You can specify your own property file too. I am going to change the stream name to AWS Pro iPhone Kinesis iPhone Agent iPhone Demo. This stream was created from our last lab session and we used Kinesis Agent to add data to the stream. Let's change the application name to AWS Pro Node.js. This is used by the KCL as the name of the application. Also used as the name of the Amazon DynamoDB table, which will store the lease and checkpoint information for workers. Region is US East 1. We are good. Let's save and exit. Let's check the Node.js consumer application code inside sample kcl app.js file. This simplest possible consumer using the kcl for Node.js must implement a record processor function which in turn contains the function initialize, process records and shutdown. The KCL calls the initialize function when the record processor starts. The KCL calls process record function 
with input that contains a list of data records from the shard specified in the initialize function. The KCL calls the shutdown function when processing ends. If you want to learn more about KCL, please check the developer guide in AWS website. Just exit the file. Before running the data processor application, let's download needed dependencies. npm install. I think we got all the dependencies we need. To start the data processor, run the following command slash home slash ec2 iPhone user slash kcl node.js slash bin slash kcl bootstrap iPhone iPhone java slash user slash bin slash java iPhone e iPhone p dot slash sample dot properties output to consumer dot out output and error to the same file run it on the background here is the bootstrap script download multilang daemon and its dependencies the bootstrap script invokes the multilanguage daemon which starts the node.js consumer application as its child process the bootstrap script uses java home to locate the java binary the sample dot properties controls which kcl for node.js application is to run the standard out and error goes to consumer out file sorry consumer dot out file let's tail the consumer dot out file to see what's going on tail iPhone consumer consumer.out looks like consumer application running fine it's supposed to create DynamoDB table to keep track of application state because the KCL uses the name of the Kinesis stream application to create the name of the table let's check if we have a table called AWS Pro Node.js I am in the AWS Management Console checking DynamoDB tables here you go each row in this table represents a shard that is being processed by our application the ash key for the table is the shard ID this proves that our consumer application working fine this concludes our demo of Kinesis client library hope you enjoy this session see you in the next session